Okay. Um, I guess this is going to be a science day where we uh, dispel error, we dispel uh, nonsense, hogwash, and uh, baloney with uh, truth and light and wisdom and uh, intelligence. I said, you're not entitled to your own set of facts. If you believe that there are unicorn farts and pixie dust underneath your camera shutter, and uh, nonsense like a bigger sensor um, equals uh, better performance because it's, it's a bigger sensor. No, it's because it's got bigger photo sites on it. Now, I have uh, been brought to my attention, and I've actually mentioned it months ago, many times, and I told people half a year ago that this is what is going to happen. Um, I said that things would be going from, instead of large photo sites on uh, full-frame sensors, which have better gain, it has better dynamic range, it has a better high ISO performance, but a lot of that's been nulled out by us and our firmware. And it's going to go from that so, to a tiny pixel pitch. See, it used to be pixel pitch of 5.7 micrometers a few years ago on a DX. Now, you know, uh, it's down around a 4. The average is still higher than 3.9 on the D7100. D750, 5.9 micrometers. You've got larger photo sites here. Here's the Canon 5D. It's a 51 megapixel camera. Pixel pitch is 4.14 micrometers. Okay, it's not just also the size of the photo sites. There's actually micro lenses over those photo sites. And they also have directors, which actually direct the light into the photo sites. Um, of course, if you have a nonsense of actually particles or photons, hitting your sensor, then you're smoking uh, the crack of quantum mechanics because light is an electrical circuit. You know, they're not particles hitting your damn sensor, but that's a matter for another discussion. Canon 5D. The only thing in Canon 5D is I like keeping things simple. Simplicity is divinity. Okay? Let's keep it simple. The only thing in Canon 5D is is a full-frame sensor with a DX pixel pitch. It combines this size with this pixel pitch. That's all the hell a Canon 5D is. When Nikon rolls out their uh, Nikon D850 or D900 or whatever the hell they're going to call it, that's exactly what it's going to be. It's going to be something close to this. It is the case that while SNR firmware has gotten really good at noise cancellation and really high bit uh, AD converters, it still is the case, like for example the Nikon D4S has a pixel pitch of 7.3 micrometers. The, uh, the Nikon uh, D5, which has not yet uh, been released yet, won't come out for another month or so, it is uh, only 4 megapixel uh, more of a, a sensor. I think it's 20, 20 something megapixel uh, camera. But that, this camera, the Nikon D4, D5 is coming out, or the Nikon D4S compared to this, this is designed for professional photography and photography in general on the Canon 5D. Well, great. Of course, uh, processing the raw files from this you know, gigantic uh, schmuck of uh, 51 uh, megapixel uh, uh, sensor is a real pain in the crotch, obviously. This is not designed for what the Nikon D4S or D5 is. When people, when the Nikon D5 rolled out and people were like, oh my god, it's only got a 20 megapixel sensor, you know, what the hell is up with that? Here's what the hell is up with that. It has larger photo sites because, now listen closely, because this is a fact and you're not going to read this anywhere else because people just apparently are not that smart. And you don't really need to know this to take good pictures. But it's kind of neat to know stuff, isn't it? You know, it's kind of neat to knowledge is power, you know, all sorts of crap like that. This camera is designed to perform incredibly in crappy lighting situations. Where light, when it comes to photojournalism, the light sucks. It sucks! And that is what these cameras are designed for. Will they work fine for portraiture? Well, hell yeah, you feed the sensor some good light. You can take portraiture, like, well, people use that Nikon D4S for portraiture and stuff, too. Yeah, but they are not really using it for landscape because it uh, does not have a high enough of a megapixel sensor. You can use it for landscape and print out some nice, decent 20 by 30s obviously so. But this camera is not designed for Nikon D4S and D5. It's not designed for what the hell this Canon 5D is designed for. Because the ultra-low-light performance in the Canon 5D is certainly not the ultra low light performance of the Nikon D5 or D4S. Nor does Canon claim that it is that. Now for most photojournalistic stuff where you have decent light, well hell yeah, it'll work fine. 51 megapixel, of course you're going to have a real pain in the crotch editing the pictures. Let's talk about something else. Talk about, uh, like I said, larger sensor does not equal better performance because it's a larger sensor. Larger sensor equals better performance uh, in ISO and dynamic range because the photo sites are larger. These photo sites pixel pitch, 
5.9, 7.3 are much larger than the pixel pitch on a D7100, which is 3.9. But while this has better ISO performance and better dynamic range because it has larger photo sites, people like bird shooters, for example, or like peeping toms or whoever the hell is taking shots way the hell off, cropping the hell out of the shots, want this pixel pitch because per square millimeter on this sensor, Let's say that's the spot that you're going to crop out of the sensor. There's a little birdie on the sensor there and a little birdie on the sensor. There is more informational, translatable data, yaw, than there is yaw. Because you want to use the buckets analogy? Good. Let's make some buckets analogy. These buckets are a lot bigger. Millions of bi bigger buckets. Millions of smaller buckets. If you crop out a certain area, you got more translatable data here than you do here. Here, more here. I mean, more here than here. Up here, we just have a full-frame sensor with DX pixel pitch. Things have gotten that good that all full-frame sensors are going to be going to this, but that also has a downside. It means micro-contrast on the newer breed of uh, full-frame sensors with DX pixel pitches is going to go down. It's going to go down, baby. Let's understand something about light and uh, photography. Okay, we're talking about E over T, exposure over time, photo site size, okay? Just like a mirror, you know, a telescope mirror, a primary. Let me grab a primary telescope mirror. You know anything about telescopes? Uh, I assume that you do. Let me grab a primary mirror. I made a mistake last night. Uh, hopped up on caffeine. I think I said the wrong thing. I didn't say primary. I said something else and someone jumped on me because I didn't say primary. Let's just say this is a photo site. Okay, we obviously know bigger the telescope primary mirror, the more light it gathers, right? Same thing as photo sites. It is the case now that the noise cancellation firmware has gotten so good that we can make these smaller and stick a whole lot more of them because we have more translatable data here than we do here. That's why the new Canon 5D has a 4.14 micrometer pixel pitch. Now when it comes to photo site size, we still do have performance, a better ISO, a better dynamic range over a given period. E over T, exposure over time. This is important for weak signals, micro contrast, more micro contrast gain on larger photo sites exists. And now we're going away from that with this technology which has been in the works now for like six years. I mean, that's how long it's been out as far as it being in development. Larger pixels receive a greater flux of light during a given exposure time. Bigger mirror receives more light over a given period of T. E over T. Learn, if you don't understand this in photography, you're not interested in what I'm about to say, then you're an idiot and you have no interest in photography flat out, period. E over T. Think about what the hell E over T is. Exposure over time. Now that exposure, if it's not enough, you're going to have, uh, obviously, uh, uh, you're going to have underexposure. If you have too much, then you've blown your highlights and you're, you can't recover from that. Uh, you're going to have uh, noise issues. You're going to have uh, gain issues. Exposure over time. A certain photo site size over a given period of T, okay, boom, that period of time versus, boom, longer period of time. Got more exposure, right? Boom versus boom. Shutter speed, right? Over with the given intensity. Given intensity from the lens. So you have the size of the photosite over a given period of time with a certain intensity. The T-stop of the lens, the luminal intensity, how bright is the lens, how much uh, light is it projecting, what is the intensity. With a given AD converter technology and with a given noise cancellation SNR firmware. You see, as I told you in the prior video, uh, when Nikon backwards engineers uh, Canon stuff and Canon backwards engineers Nikon stuff, blah, 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 they don't give a damn about this freaking sensor. They don't give it, that's the first thing they don't, about it. they don't give a damn about it. They care about what exists after that. AD converter, SNR firmware, the buffer, the processor. They don't interested in backwards engineering the damn sensor. They're just not. There's not that many sensor manufacturers out there. And by the way, let me make note of something else to all you schmucks. They talk about, uh, well, Nikon uses Sony sensors. Well, listen up, girlfriend. Nikon's top cameras, like the D4S, the D4, the D3, the D700, uh, the new Nikon D5, those are not Sony sensors. 
That is their own. It used to be uh, Matsushita, which is now Panasonic, and now they're branded uh, anonymously as something else, but they're not. point is that they ain't Sony sensors. Canons, Can Nikon uh, has four different suppliers for sensors. But here's the fact, Jack. Nikon's top cameras don't use Sony sensors. <laughs> Period. Flat out, bar none, deny it. You cannot. Because I gotta get so sick of hearing that crap. Nikon uses Sony sensors. Yeah, they do. And uh, Nikon's top cameras don't use Sony sensors. Oh, damn. I didn't know that. Well, yeah, now you know. Now you know. Now, if you want to go, you don't care if you believe me or not, everything I just said in this video is 100% irrefutable and undeniable. Go online and type in uh, pixel pitch chart. It'll list all the, most of the current cameras with the pixel pitch, like the Canon 5D, 4.1 4 micrometers, D750, uh, 5.9 micrometers, uh, D4S, 7.3 micrometers, D7100, 3.9 micrometers, like a compact camera, the pixel pitch on this little sucker is a 1.7 micron. Now all of this is relatable, the pixel pitch, to the maximum best performance decent exposure ISO. Like, uh, it used to be like uh, ISO 100 on a compact camera. That means you had to take an old compact camera and feed it some decent light, otherwise the pictures look grainy and crappy, right? We can up that with the DX pixel pitch, which used to be uh, 5.7 micrometers. Now the AD converter and our firmware has got much better, so now we can use uh, 3.9 micrometers. Now has an ISO performance of roughly 1600 to 3200. It depends, it varies, but it's obviously a lot higher. We get a lot higher still um, with the Nikon uh, D4S, really, really high on the Nikon D4S and the D5. Uh, uh, kind of close on the Nikon D750. Now we've got an issue up here where we don't know it. Yeah, so performance on the new Canon 5D is fine if you use it at the light levels of uh, the Nikon of a, of a DX crop sensor, but it is a full frame sensor with DX pixel pitch. Someone actually unintelligently, stupidly, and ignorantly commented, well, how does the Canon 5D uh, measure into your belief system on this whole pixel pitch nonsense? Well, baby, I'll tell you what, it figures in perfectly. It, it figures in exactly where I said it would figure, yeah, I talked about this technology coming out six months ago before the Canon 5D was announced or brought out. Um, I said this is exactly what it was and what it would be, what things are going to. Full frame sensors with DX pixel pitches, undeniably irrefutable. Oh my god, look what Canon rolled out. They rolled out a camera with a uh, full frame sensor with a DX pixel pitch. Mmm, yeah. Get it? Got it? Good. Remember, you're entitled to your own beliefs. If you want to believe in unicorn farts and pixie dust, that's fine. You want your own belief system, that's fine. Nobody's going to fault you for that. You're not entitled to your own set of facts. Facts. Yeah, you're, you're, you're not entitled to that part. Nope, 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 nope. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.